We went through most of this region from from what I understand. There's a couple bosses out here that I didn't get, uh, but we got the tower. That was the big thing. And so I want to ramp up. I think no, did we, we didn't do the tower actually. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we'll probably do that tower this time, but I want to go check out the volcanic region first because we haven't done like anything there. Uh, spent a little bit of time hitting up the islands over and over again, and so we got some some new pals. I'm not going to use them, but we got uh, sort this out by pal deck number. We got a oh, we we got a regular Yormintide. Got the uh, the boss one that was over here, forty five. We're up to 43 ourselves. I teched up a good bit. Uh, we are getting really, really close to the uh, the legendary spheres, but uh, I, I wanted to get up to the electric medicine workbench because with that you can make the thing you need to respec. I went ahead and got that done. That takes a minute to, to get out. Uh, but we got our hypersphere. We got the new assembly line up. We got heat and cold refined, and we made the pump action shotgun. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, and next tier, baby, Electric Furnace, which we're going to need Pal Metal Ingots, and then Legendary Sphere, which will be quite nice. There's also a sword, but I'm not going to be using that. Uh, either way, we got our heat gear on. Let's head on out to the foot of the volcano and start exploring, which actually, let me... Hmm, then I'm thinking about it real fast. Let me, let me go back and pull out a water type, because if I'm exploring a fire region, probably going to want a water type. Astagon stays, you stay, Lylan is going to get in the box, because she is just going to get absolutely donked on out there. Oh shit, I didn't do Prince of Persia today, you're right. Um, let me fix that for you real fast. See, this is why YouTube needs to give me the thingy. I'll make that public and I'll schedule the next one for 4 p.m. 4 p.m. And then I'm going to schedule tomorrow's episodes now before I forget. 8 a.m. And noon. Okay, your Prince of Persia for the day is up. See, so I need someone to like ping me on Discord and be like, hey. There was no Prince of Persia today. I'd be like, whoopsies. And I could fix it faster. Which I haven't popped out chat yet. Give me a second. Let me do that. Can't leave the poor, poor Twitch people alone. Atharva. How am I saying that? Ath Arva. Ath Arva? Am I saying that right? Either way, welcome to the Booty Champions. Appreciate the support. Some high-level Van Worms. And Runs for Our Lives coming in with 10 gift memberships to kick things off. Mount Obsidian. Oh, what are you? You're like a big fire turtle. Not fought one of these yet. Let's hit it with the Acid Rain. Let's hit it with the Grass Tornado. 22? Eh, I think we're going for our Ultra Sphere on you. Oh yeah, Ultra Sphere is definitely the play. You're staying in that one. Get in that sphere. I'm not going to tell you again. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Don't need a van worm. We've seen that. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm at the point. I have a couple of hyperspheres left as backups. But we have started just pumping everything into ultraspheres. There's just, there's really no point in me doing anything else at this point, you know? Like, the stuff I'm fighting is all 35 plus. So, yeah, all of our ingots, all of our materials, everything goes to the high-end spheres now. No more wasting on the, the low stuff. Robert jumping up to the booty champion tier. Getting that early Prince of Persia. What are your thoughts of this game? Not seen anything about it. Really? 
You haven't you haven't seen anything about this? It's like the most popular game in the world right now. Literally, it is it is the uh, highest played game in the world on Steam. Uh, it is the second highest of all time on Steam. Yeah, Quivern's pretty cool. I think it, it'll get replaced eventually. Need those pop episodes now. See, the, the crappy thing, I don't have anything lined up yet after pop. The plan was to do uh, Grand Blue, but they are, I guess, holding the review keys till close to the end or close to launch. So I'm like, like am we gonna, uh, when, when we get in the, uh, when are the keys coming? Just hoping to, hoping to have Grand Blue ready to go for launch, but, uh, so far, nothing. I mean, we got like another week of pop, so. Lamb bells. I don't need any of them. Do I have regular incinerams? I don't know. Oh god, am I just being cooked by magma? Why why is my health going down? Well that's that's weird and unnerving. We're gonna fly away from here? That's that's really odd. I guess it's just too hot being near that. So much for having a tier three fire resist. There's a blaze map boss nearby, level 49. No! Why am I wasting spheres? Gotta keep the PAL spheres on deck. Yeah, not, not a fan of coming out here and then being cooked by the elements. Is that a shiny? This? No. This is just a normal, normal dragon. I need my pals packing yet? Yeah, man. Got the minigun pal. But she does insane damage. The throw sphere mapping? What do you mean? Like the angle? I haven't particularly had any problems with that. Though I will say, controller, I was surprised because I was playing a little bit on, on Steam Deck. And, uh... It like auto targets stuff as you're about to to throw it, which is really cool to see. Oh, oh yeah, hitting Q by accident, yeah, it's a it's a problem. Let's see, this looks like a shrine of something. I throw a gigasphere by accident. I'm not concerned about that. Bushy. I mean, the stuff I'm seeing here is more in the 30s, so I think we'll do this tower and then possibly go to the desert tower. I know the, the frozen region tower. I think that's the the last one you want to hit because the stuff there is mid 40s. Bubble Blast, Stone Blast, and Aqua Burst. Remapping Throw Sphere to a foot pedal or something. <laughs> I had rebound it, and then I ended up going back to default to just try and get used to it. Is this the not Pokemon game? It's a fun way to describe it. To be honest, as, as much as the, the internet is abound with the Pokemon comparisons right now, uh, the game... I think the game actually has more in common with Ark than it does with Pokemon. Because yes, we, we go ahead and we catch monsters 
and there's there's a uh, you know elemental types on them and all that that's that's very pokemon ish but at the same time the battle system is very different uh there's no no stab attacks or anything there's no evolutions it's all about just capturing them and then using them to work as you work through this very arc like tech tree and build your base and like this this is sh straight out of arc 100 percent straight out of arc no question about it uh and so you know seeing like it's it's just funny because the internet is they took pokemon like really they took they took more from arc than they did from pokemon yeah a little bit of breath of the wild with the exploration and stamina mechanics and the glider I mean, at the end of the day, it, it very much is just a fusion. There's a fusion of a bunch of different games. It's it's taken Ark, it's taken Breath of the Wild, it's taken Pokemon, it's taken a little bit of a, you know, Factorio with the automation of your base and whatnot. And it's just put them all together into something that's fun to play. But, uh, there was a full Pokemon mod for it. I'm pretty sure that got shut down. This was he sending me. Um, hmm, 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 I'm aware of the the ball launch thing. We're getting cooked. That sounded like we were getting cooked. Yeah, I, I they really do need to, like that's that would be my my one concern. Uh, but they absolutely need to keep you know stay true to the early access. Ow! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Is that who joined? Oh, what's up, Toxie? Yo. Just exploring the uh, lava region and getting absolutely fucking cooked, bro. Jesus. I think I'm just dead. I'm dead. I just finished uncovering the map. Dude, I have, I have, I have the lava or the the heat resistant underwear on, and I have. Uh, I have heat, heat resistant underwear and heat resistant refined metal armor. My bar shows no weakness to heat. And I'm still just getting hook, cooked. I go to the the volcanic. Like, there's a portion of the volcanic region you just die if you go near it, it seems. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. I just flew all over the volcanic region and I didn't get cooked once and I only have heat resistant refined. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know. It's like right around, uh, where did I die exactly? Minus 500 by like minus 460. My health just rapidly was like, burr, 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 dead. I'm like, oh, that's, that's fun. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Odd. Yes, odd indeed. I mean, the other thing I could just, you were not hot, you were on fire. I was in the air. I was in the air. What, what lit me on fire? Yeah, right now I'm just flying to uncover stuff, though. I will say, I think the, the volcanic region and the ice region are rather, uh, rather mid. Not a whole lot going on in them. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, mountain, you know, mountainous. Yeah. 
feel like right now I'm my guy is my guy is on just flying past the lava. My dude has lit on fire and he is now dying. I'm dead again. Is it, weird? Is it steam spots? Is that what's happening? Somebody being stupid in chat. This is why I have death penalties turned off. Same. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, I I had some uh, some moments in uh, <clears throat> when I was playing with. Uh, with Ron that I was like, yep, we're done. Like, exactly like this. Like, I was flying the volcanic region. Just lighting on fire. And I'd be like, okay, that's that's cool. I'm dead now. And then, you know, since you died, you dropped your flying mount. And oh, by the way, you also dropped your armor. Good luck getting back to where you died. I'm like, yeah, no, no, not doing that. Now, we shouldn't need an ice flyer. So you can't see it because of my head. Let me Let me move out of the way real fast. You can see I have like fire isn't even listed on my meter. My character should be completely immune to fire damage or, or fire heat, we'll say. But, uh, you know, early access, a little bit of jank. Yes, Swift does increase time. Uh, Bolt said he should be off at three. So I figure I'll, I'm going to pal world it up for about two hours and then, uh, then we'll go join Bolsey. Works for me. It's another fire turtle. I like the fire turtle. I'll grab one more. These roof tires are nice. Retro. Three star kindling, three star mining. Um. Man, acid rain is such a goaded skill. Stay in the ball, man. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Good boy. Yeah, I'm at the point where it's just recapturing 10 of stuff now as I fly around the map to ramp my XP up. What level are you up to? 43. I'm at 44. Ooh, the legendary ball tier. Have you done any, uh... Of the uh, the crossbreeding, uh, to make like variants. Well, no, not variants. You can like, um, for instance, if you breed a reptyro and the uh, ice version of the mammoth, you just get a Yormontide. Oh, I've done the only one I've really been breeding is uh, Anubis. I've just I've had they have been just fucking nonstop. Pumping out Anubis, mm -hmm. I have like how many? So I well, I wanted to pump him up to to uh, tier three, and then I'm I'm done with him. I'm not getting I'm not gonna get thirty two just because making thirty two cakes and letting them breed forever sounds tedious. But I uh, yeah, I am just kind of printing cakes right now. Yeah, yeah, that adds up really fast. Uh, that it's kind of a, an obscene jump to be honest. I think uh, I think yeah, four maybe like. Four, four, eight, four, twelve, eight, six, maybe? Yeah, four, eight, twelve sounds great. Four, I like four, eight, twelve. But, uh... Yeah, four to sixteen to thirty-two, that's excessive. The sixteen could make sense as, like, the last tier, potentially, yeah. but... As the, like, second to last tier, and then you need thirty-two... Yeah, the 32 is like, no, I'm not. Because, like, on something like a lamb ball, maybe, but, like, on, on yeah. anything you're actually going to use, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, a fucking beacon or an Anubis. It's like, yeah, go farm out 32 oh. of those. Especially, like, an Anubis, where it's like you're either breeding it or you're getting it through, um, like, just the boss capture. It's like, yeah, yeah. Go, go kill that boss 32 times. It's like, yeah, okay. There's a level 48 Astagon near me that I flew over and did not see, so I'm assuming he is down inside a cave somewhere. Some of these bosses, it's funny, there's, like, all these, uh, seen all these, these PAL world maps that are, like, you know, all boss locations, and it's like, 
It doesn't tell you shit. It just shows you an icon. That boss is buried inside of a cave somewhere that the entrance is like a mile and a half off the island. Off the, uh, the island. Wait, there's Astagons on the uh, volcano? Apparently there's a boss Astagon on the volcano. Negative... Neg it's like negative 617, negative 434. But I'm guessing it's a mine that's underground because I don't... Uh, I just flew past where it was and did not see huh. it, so... I'm gonna go see if I can check that out. I mean, you can catch them on the uh, the island in yeah, the north northeast, northeast yeah. uh, sanctuary or whatever. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of time hitting those islands up, getting the... Uh, I have a regular pier in? I don't know if I do. I have a bunch of Pyrrhon Nox. They're pretty good. Yeah, I have, I have the Pyrrhon Nox as well, but I don't think I have the regular Pyrrhon. Biss Flyer is fucking Suzaku so far, though. Yeah, I got. I just got Suzaku and made the mount. I don't think I did anything with it yet. Dude, it is so damn fast. Oh, I did have Pyrrhon, whatever. You can always catch for more Pyrrhons. I think the one I really want, so, uh, I got my Astagon, obviously. I have a feeling he's gonna be fast as fuck. Fucking level 47, though, for the mount. Yeah, but I mean, we're not really that far from that at this point. I mean, yeah. Just a couple captures. I also got, uh, the same, same island that had Astagon. I got some edgy boy called Shadowbeak. I read an article on PC Gamer that Nintendo is suing the developer of Power World. That's factually not true. Nintendo is not suing the developer of Power World. Let me see. I want to. I want to. I want to see this supposed article. It's probably like an article, like it's titled like that, probably, and then it's just like exploring. If they have the grounds to, and they're probably just yeah. gonna come to the conclusion that they can't. Yeah. Fucking clickbait title that someone just read and fucking. Just dead internet AI just saw stuff trending yeah. and wrote an article. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only the only suing, if if any suing at all, would be uh the uh, person that made the straight up Pokemon mod for the game which i'm pretty sure they already got hit with a cease and desist because that's getting taken down have you made the shotgun yet no i have a uh, i have a level two uh assault rifle blueprint Ooh. i've been waiting to do that waiting you can just you can make it with the uh, if you have the blueprint you just craft it you really? I thought that you needed like the base map mm -hmm. or the, the right. base unlock. You can jump straight in with it. Oh really? This dude looks very edgy. With his uh Look at my look at my cool tattoos. Huh. He has a uh, electric guard chomp. This is a little weird. Isn't this supposed to be like Brothers of the Eternal Pyre? I expected like a lava thing. All right, Anubis, fuck it up. This thing is uh. Anubis, show me your earth power as you smash this thing's life. This thing kind of hurts. Dude, the pump action just claps. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, actually, hang on. I haven't really had a chance to try this yet. Brrr. Yeah, the, uh... Minigun time. Assault rifle is not showing up for me. For uh, you, reason. you. I think it's because you need. Do you have the uh, the higher tier bench? 
Yeah, do. I have production assembly line too. No, weapon, the weapon assembly line too. The blueprint says production assembly line too. Mm, weird. I would assume that's a weapon assembly line too, but maybe not. Uh, let me look at the base assault rifle. I think, I think it's level 45. Bro, this guy is pretty stacked. Yeah, the base assault rifle says it's a uh, production assembly line too as well. Huh. Apparently there's a, uh, a, a glitch where you can capture the bosses, like Axel and like, you know, the, the tower bosses. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta, um, it's something like you, you get wanted first, and then uh, when you're wanted, the, like, the, the people will show up in the fight. And while they are in the fight, it'll allow you to capture the bosses. <laughs> yeah, like, that's random. OP strats. Yeah, OP strats indeed. Nubis, go mess it up, bro. You're our strongest attacker. I need you to do some work here. Wait, are you fighting that, like, 130,000 HP boss at the fucking volcano? Yeah. Well, I figured it was either I go after this or the sand one, and I figured this, the levels here were lower than sand land, so I'd take this first. Ow, don't zap out. God, that hurt. I haven't done Tower of the Free Pal Alliance yet. That one was, that one was pretty easy. I, I would consider that like the second tower. There's a total of, what, five, five towers? Yeah, lava region, ice region, sand region. Anubis is out here. Yeah, this thing's going down. Anubis has that type advantage. Running from the acid rain. Anubis, fuck him up. I know you're on fire, bro, but I need you to. I think my. The shotgun's fucking him up, too. How many gunning off cooldown yet? Ugh. Quivern. Put out the deeps. What kind of head are we hitting with the single shot? Ow, 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 paralyzed me. I'm hitting 515 with my single shot. It's only if I hit dude exactly though. Otherwise it's like a 350. Ow, god, I gotta chill. I gotta get my, my health regen come back up. Quivern, help me! Got his health back. Let's go. Time to finish the fight, baby. I haven't seen an ore circ yet. This thing's kind of cool, though. It's still so weird that this is supposed to be like the Brothers of the Magma Tower. What is it? Electric Boss. <laughs> Even though we already fought an Electric Boss? Kinda weird. Damn, Anubis just dropped a 3200 damage hit on this thing.
Oh, down you go. Get down, ugly. You big idiot. Okay, Anubis. Earth, Earth, Earth. I'm gonna give him uh, Acid Rain. Dark Laser, Nightmare Ball, Draconic Breath. You're probably good. Jormantide. You're good. Grizzbolt, I literally pulled out just for... Uh, Quivering, get you dramatic breath. I pulled him out just for the, the flamethrower or the, the minigun, but I don't know. It's kind of mid. Hang on a sec. I think the minigun's not great. Problem is, the damage scaling between levels is so bad that it's like if there's any discrepancy at all, it just doesn't do shit. Yeah, I'll be right back, chat. I gotta pull some groceries in for the wife.
All right. <clears throat> Got LaCroix. I picked up the... You yeah, picked up a, a thing of LaCroix. It, it popped open and a bunch of them came spilling out. And I was like, ah! And it hit the pavement and started shooting at me. No. I was like, wow, the fuck? My reward for the groceries is the big bowl of crispy chicken ramen. Hmm. Eat the ducky mass. Hmm. And char siu pork bun. Mm. Mm. Reading Relaxosaurus and Grizzbolt? Bet. Let's see. Nope, they're all males. Womp womp. Let's capture a new one. Oh boy, I might want to pull you away. Question is the one we just got a male or not? Did I like Prince of Persia? Yeah. I right, gave it a perfect score. It was great. Oh, you want me to use the water version? I have a couple of those. That's that'll be a little bit easier to do. No, I have one. Rip. Hang on, I'm pretty sure I just saw somewhere I teleported from though. Oh, I that think one's... where they spawn. It's somewhere in the grasslands, I think. Oh, if, I thought I, I almost paused if I just saw some here. If I didn't, I will just look up where to find them. I know you can just use your uh, your in-game map. It'll tell you where to find stuff. Yeah, your pal duck. Yeah. Relax, Saurus. Relax, relax. Where where is the relaxy boy? Uh, eighty-five. Relaxosaurus. Yeah, they all are all over where I'm at, so. I'm put on my cold. Alright, let's just, uh, we'll stay low to the ground and find one. I'll be right back. The 
There were literally like two. There were two right out in the open when I fast traveled just a second ago. And they have been replaced by lambs. Or maybe they left, they probably left because it's nighttime, to be honest. Um, what else? There? I kind of want to explore this other half. Let's go back over here for now. We're just going to go like northwest. And then we're going to cut south. I love being on fire. Nope, we're on fire again. Bro, this is so obnoxious. The volcano sucks. Why anyone would want to come here to explore is beyond me. Am I chilly and just died? Whack. Pump that saddle out. While he's doing that, I'll go hatch all these eggs. There are plenty of around the areas with the thunder subspecies. Yeah, that's what I that's what I figured, but wasn't seeing them. The Punk Ignis, another La Punk Ignis. Another Kelpsy Ignis. Van Worm. Another Van Worm. Another punk here. Right, let's deposit all of our stuff. Uh, eat the bread. Uh, metal armor schematic one. Your garbage. Don't need. One more egg. Here and knocked, wow. All right, let's go to bed and then we'll go get our, our blue boy. It's not bad, it's just all fire. Oh shit, I didn't grab the mount from him. There is a limit to the number of pals the pal box can store, but it's it's very high, so it'll take a while to get there. 
No, this game is obviously not set in the Pokemon universe. Shit. Please stay in the ball, bro. I don't want to accidentally kill you. Alright, one of those has got to be breeding material, right? Gotta go fast! Oh, I got it right in the head! Alright, let's see. Breeders. Where are my breeders? You're my logging foreman. Are you my only ice guy right now? Yeah, you are. Uh, let's move you up to him. Ladies. Um, glutton. What? Sadie drops. Mm. Glutton, glutton, glutton. Uh, these are all garbage. Waterproof power of Gaia. Ugh. I guess we'll use you. And then, uh, Grizzbolt, get in there. Go, dick or down. Get the clown. Make a baby so we don't frown. Get in that breeding pool right now. Make that baby say, yo, wow. Oh, I got cakes. I don't need that many cakes. Well, no, why not? Let's go all three cakes. That way I have, uh, you know, choices. Actually, let's go five cakes. Let's go five cakes. Flour? We have no flour? Unacceptable. Max, make the cakes. Five is a good number. Because if I have if I have five cakes, then that means I'm getting at least one that's good, and then I'll pump the other. I'll pump the other uh, other four into it to level it up. Which actually, you know what? Increased to earth attack damage. Oh, these all, they, they all suck. Let me go get a different one. I don't want a sucky one. Shit.
This is why I just throw high tier balls now. No fussing, you just grab- why are they all gluttons? What the fuck? And how did that Bushi get in there? Seriously, what the hell? Why do they all- every single one of them has glutton? What the fuck? Why- why are they all gluttons? Whatever. Oh wait, I don't even check. Are you... Just throw it in and see. Are you a female? Yes. Good. Me hungies. Who did I take out of the party? We got our earth boy, we got our water, we got our fire. I know my, my dragon, you got hurt. I don't really need you though. I got him and him. Pull our grass type back out. Oh, I found this guy. Look at uh. Probably not gonna use it, but check this guy out. Angry scorpion boy. Pretty cool. But, you know, he does, uh, Ground and Dragon, which those bases are covered already, so... Bomp bomp. Where'd that Suzaku go? Are you the good Suzaku, or were you the good Suzaku? You were the good Suzaku. Alright, tech. We teched up. Electric furnace. Pen circuit boards, 20 polymer. Oh, I need, I need 10 circuit boards, so we're gonna need 40 polymer. Look at him go! Pump it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump up that polymer. Look at the speed! Way to farm honey. Um, I usually just go kill, kill the bees. Electric furnace. Um, we'll put this guy like, well that's gonna get moved actually, so let's do it, um... What are y'all doing? Are y'all attacking something? This is going to get replaced soon. I mean, that's just guns and stuff. That weapon assembly line too. Okay, so that's still a little ways away. No, it seems like a bat. Where is a good spot for an electric furnace? I guess I could. Oh, because it's gonna just, that's uh, just gonna replace your back. old furnace. But 
but this is an it's literally electa. just a straight upgrade. It's oh. it still requires kindling. Oh. Oh shit! Too heavy. Enough to pump out more. Need another forty polymer. Work, 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 work. Farm up coal, make a coal mine. Big rips. Big F's in chat. Those beautiful beds. That's where I take your dad at the end of the night. Find some quartz on this godforsaken mountain. Uh, health. Do I want to just keep pumping health even more? Have you respected all yet, Tox? Nah. I did. We are str only. We are strictly HP and weight. That's it. Nothing else matters. I've weighed at 1,500. I might take that up to 2k. Weights at 15, and then I pumped, uh... Everything else just goes into health, since attack and defense don't matter, and... Work speed seems like it matters, and then you get Anubis, and you realize how fucking slow you are. Oh, level 40, Cybelix. I can always use an extra one of those. Hi, Ice Type, you're about to get cooked. Fire tornadoes. Whoo, you're getting fucked up. This will be a lot easier if you decide to just get in the ball. No. I don't want to go in the ball, alright? Looks like we're doing it the hard way. Twenty percent cap rate on an ultra sphere. You better hope I break out of this ice before he kills you. Yeah. 
but I can't get you any lower. Either you stay in the ball, and you come and you be a high quality cloth farm for me. Thank you. Not asking for a lot, just for you to spend your life constantly shitting out cloth. There are other ways this could go down. Damn it. My shotgun broke. That's why my damage was so low. Ooh, is that a... It's a big egg. How big is it? Is it a huge? It's a huge hell yeah. Where is my quartz? This quartz only on like the, the, the snowy snowy region, not the mini snowy region. Um, quartz is pretty much all over like the northernmost island. Yeah, I know it's all over the frost island, but you know the the one it's before also you in get that there? green area right below it, like on that same landmass though. Okay, I'll just have to go on over there. I'm at the uh, the Free Pal Alliance area. I figured, you know, this is also snow. Maybe there'll be quartz over here too. Jolt Hog Crist. Do I have one of those? I do now. <laughs> Nothing like throwing Ultra Spheres at level 10 creatures for free caps. I don't know if Suzaku is that fast. I think my, um, I think Lightning Bird's faster. It could be that my Suzaku rolled with the Swift trait. Oh yeah, that'll that's that does impact speed. Plus thirty percent movement speed. Yeah, yeah. Swift is the that is the play. A city? No, that's just ruins, bro. This whole game is just ruins. Ruins everywhere. There's seven quartz nodes at 248.402. That's that's up there, man. You're asking me to travel far. Which we can do via respawn. Pump up the jams. Pump it up. I never- I found the desert town, but that also looks abandoned. Let's see, what do you think a huge verdant egg is gonna pop out? Uh... An Elizabeth. Hmm, I already have multiple of you. Useless. I was gonna guess a, uh, a mammoth. All right, let's see, fast travel. What were the nodes you gave me? Uh, negative get a uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna go for the the jet jet dragon thing I know everyone's like it's the fastest you gotta use the jet dragon but look kind of dumb I know it's a legendary but I think the rule of cool still applies you don't think jet dragon is cool not really I looked at him I think he looks kind of derpy I would say I would put Astagon ahead of jet dragon in terms of like late game dragons I'd say my my two two favorites so far for aesthetics probably Astagon. For usefulness, Anubis is the absolute goat. Like no question about it. Anubis is goat.
From what I know, there are three level 50 bosses, I think. Four. There's a, a pair that are like... Oh, uh, I was counting that as one. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's that. And the other one. Yeah, there's that. The humanoid-looking ones. Stallion. Yeah, and then the dragon. And yeah, dragon. Which apparently pals are divergent of humans. There's like some lore you can find in the game that talks about... I think it might be lilacs, actually. Let me look. No, not her. Who was it? One one of them has has the the dialogue for it. Is uh, it's it's something about like a good example of uh, you know, pals before they diverged from humans, which is like I don't even want to know how that ties into the lore. About to set up a quartz farm chat. You don't really need that much quartz. Yeah, I feel like coal, yes. Quartz is. Unless it's used for palingots. Is it used for palingots? No, it's just used for polymer. Bruh, oh my god. It takes a minute to get through one of these nodes. Like negative 250, 400. I'm out here. I might as well fill up my inventory on it. That way I don't need to worry about coming back anytime soon. How good is Anubis? He's the goat. Claps cheeks in combat. Level 4 handicraft. Can also assist with mining and transporting. Every base needs to Anubis. Uh, I am freezing solid. This is not fun. Yeah, suck my balls. I got a Suzaku here. armor type of thing? Uh, not really. You just progressively upgrade to whatever the best army you have available is. <clears throat> Anubis is earth. And his passive uh, adds earth damage to your attacks. There's an Ice King pack up here. Neat. Fast travel far away? Just hit the respawn button instead. <laughs> Lost track of how many times I've done that now. It is my preferred way to get back to base. Even if I only have Anubis on this line, look at his speed on circuit boards. Now by comparison, look at my speed on circuit boards. <laughs> In all cases, Anubis is good. Reddit assholes? What are you talking about, Tim?
Yeah, I have a grappling hook. I just don't... I don't need that much quartz. I'd rather just go back and get it as I need it. Cowboy, Keith, Tim, and Mavis are nothing but bullies. Watching chat for a bit and you kicked a dude because of the fools. They act like spoiled little kids and you side with them. Huh? huh? I don't even know who you are, but leave. You're literally a no-name person in chat. You have no color, which means you haven't been subscribed for a long time, if at all. Like... I don't know who you are, and I don't care who you are. Does that make things simple? Pay attention to the rules and you won't get banned, you fucking moron. The one strike rule is very simple. You don't come in chat and break the rules and you don't get banned. This would take me 14 minutes to craft. Anubis, 30 seconds. Wild. What is that, 28 times faster? Um. Pal metal ingots are super easy. It's just lore or in palladium? Yep. Paddle wow. metal is fucking goaded. Oh, we're gonna pump out a. Uh... Easier than refined metal. Oh, yeah, let me just pump max on that and then I'm gonna set up my uh... crush and make me 2000 palladium. Damn, my stone, my stone quarry hit 99999. Wood at three thousand. How's our ore deposits looking? No, I haven't done the capture the tower boss glitch. Apparently, it's like really wonky. very much Americans isekai to the Pokemon world. Huge dragon eggs. A Cirque was born. I kind of want to hop online and see what popped out of that huge dragon egg. I'll give it to Ron if he's still playing. Let's go see. No players on the server, right? They are all starving, minor injuries, and depressed. Good to see the server's working great. Let's see. Oh, there's food. How about over here? Is there food? There's, there's plenty of food. Why are you all starving? This is why we stopped playing online. Alright, the huge dragon egg that took three days to incubate was a Relaxosaurus. Wow, bro. 
<laughs> Fuck him. Huge ups. Ooh, a Kitsune. That's kind of cool. I haven't caught that on my main save yet. Let me see if it gives me info on where to find that. I would like a Kitsune. Uh, Kitsune... Uh, you know that other ice area? Like, in the, the green zone? Like, right below the, uh, the desert? Yeah, hang on. I'm pulling it up on the... Oh, it doesn't. It shows that it's night only. But it's not on yeah, my pal map. Yeah, it's night only in that zone. Oh, uh, I just wanted to see what hatched out of that egg online. Is this game coming to PlayStation soon? Probably not. There's a known issue with dedicated servers, where when everyone's offline, the pals do nothing and they starve. <laughs> so fucked up. Uh, wait, did it show? I didn't see it. Nothing was, uh, nothing was lit up there. Let me, let me go back. Let me scroll back to the map. Mm, there, there weren't. Oh no! I see it now. I see it. Okay. They are kind of here-ish. It looks like. Trying to compare the maps. Looks like it's right where it's. No, 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 no. The map was more scrolled out. So yeah, it's it's right here. It's right by the free pal, right by the tower. Okay, we'll go there. Uh, Free Pal Alliance Tower during night. Yeah, we're gonna go there and snag one. Uh, tech, 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 tech. Oh man, Tox, I can make a sword. Huh. So useful, bro. Legendary Sphere. The max I can make right now is th oh, the ingots. Any ingots. Any tips on how to quickly get bones for cement? Just buy them from the merchant. Go to the merchant, buy them up. Uh, bruh. Could you kindle this? He's busy. He's like, I'm making the cakes. I'll cancel that. I do need more cakes. I just wanted him to go work on something else. He's like, I'm the cake man. Like, bro, make the ingots, please. We need ingots. Hang on. I think I have a... Don't I have a tier four fire guy? Maybe Jormantide Ignis? Yes, Jormantide Ignis is tier four fire. This guy's tier 4 electricity, dragon killer, zen mine, and destructive. That one's interesting. I'll have to, I'll have to check. I'll check them all uh, in a little bit. Uh, where's my... Alright, you come out. There we go. Now we're getting those pal metal ingots. He's gonna be cooking for a bit. Build a refined metal chest. I've never built one. Um. Look at him go! Shit, jump down to four seconds! Can you run out of pal space? You can. Yeah. 
Yo, Van Worm Chris, let's go, baby! I wanted one of those online and it never happened. It made me sad. Y'all got cakes. Why ain't you? You fucking? You better keep fucking. I want cakes. I want babies. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, Dragon Killer, Logging Foreman, Aggressive, Bottomless Stomach. Motivational Leader, 25% increase to player speed. I need to see a better baby than what you're producing right now. The production so far has been rather lackluster. Make me a better child. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have, I have food turned off. I got tired of... Food honestly didn't feel like it did anything in the game. It was just like, you just take berries, because berries, berries do everything. So I was like, you know what? This isn't fun. Same with stamina. I got tired of dealing with stamina. Stamina in this game is effectively just a way to increase the playtime artificially. Like, oh, it's gonna take you... You know, instead of mining this node in a minute, it'll take three because you gotta wait for your stamina to come back. No thanks. That's getting turned off. That's the best thing about playing offline. All the modifiers to make it an experience that is just what you want. Sir. Learn to make double barrel shotgun. I would skip, skip, and just go to, to pump action. I turned down health and turned up item rate. I turned up health. I'm not sure if turning. Let's actually, actually, you know what? Let's test this real fast. Experiment time. So right now, I believe health is at max. Let's see. So I got 62 wood off that tree. Next tree. 62 is the magic number. Also 62. I don't know if health matters on stuff like that, but... I think I would need to, like, hit ore up. I don't think it matters that much, though. Base upgrade. 18 pals. Ooh, 19 pals. 20 pals! Oh, well, if we want 20 pals, we're going to need some more beds. Beds. Uh, can I fit one in there? Oh, I can't. I guess they're going over here. Alright, that should be 20. Oh no, we don't need... Okay, we just need that one. We're at 20. Cool. Alright, let's see. What else do we want to deploy? Thinking, uh... I'm thinking a... Where's my, my Suzaku? Are you my Suzaku? You are. Uh... Art is in work speed 50... No, you're a fighter. That's right, you have attack 30 and hooligan. What a weird fucking blend. Uh, we're gonna do a Jormantide Ignis to just cook shit more. I like that. Uh, Reptiro. Cooking and mining. What about you? Mining and logging. Uh, we had a... We had a, uh, Bushi cutting down trees. We'll throw him back out. And what else do we need? The base doesn't really need anything. 
Maybe a van worm just to carry shit around. Van worm Christ. I want to take a look at you. I bet you're cool looking. Oh, it's kind of cool. A little bit of a rainbow dragon vibe going on. Vam Worm Christ. The saddle is level 41. Let's make it, baby. Ice dragon. It hurts dragons. I like that. I like that. Let's, what does he have on him? Dragon killer. So he's the anti-dragon dragon. Are we being, are we going to get attacked? Oh no. Y'all picked the wrong base to fuck around with. Those ones are like, get the fuck out of here. Having, building like actual base defenses is honestly just a gimmick in this game. Like base defenses do not matter at all. Your pals are, damn, I like how I just I got, annihilate everything. I just got my first Van Worm Christ and they had like two. I didn't even see, everything died so fast. I wasn't even sure what was attacking besides the Incineram. No, yeah, your pals will, they're gonna take care of everything. There's no, there's just no reason to, to worry about defenses. Cause I set up like the crossbow. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have somebody mounted on these crossbows and it's gonna stop them. Look at them. They all showed up they fucked everything up and they're like, all right, back to work. They, they didn't miss a beat. Sanity levels are good. No one got injuries. Like. For a while. Male and female not present. Who are we missing? We're missing our electric boy. Oh, he took a break to go add electricity. Do I not have somebody else doing that? I do, but he's slacking. Uh, motivational. All right, your job is to go power the electricity. Grizzbolt, you have other jobs to do, bro. Your job is to pump out babies. I haven't done the Pangolet Bazooka. Do you actually have to sacrifice? Like, do you have to keep, keep a bunch of Pangolets around to use it? Um, I think it only affects the ones in your party. Yeah. So would I just have, like, five pangolets in my party? I mean, if you want a bunch of bazookas, sure. Well, no, no, the pangolet launches it. Well, I mean... Sadie yeah, but drops, destructive... They're only gonna have it if they're in your party. I guess the motivational leader is the best one I got. What's the other one? Which one did I put in the base? Logging foreman... Player logging efficiency, attack up, and decrease to incoming drag and damage. It's 25 player speed, decrease incoming. Yeah, the perks on this, I mean, I'll be honest, I probably ain't gonna use the Osric thing anyway. It was, it was all right, but like, yeah. I think I'm done with Osric. I'm not that interested in him. So instead, uh, I need to like reorganize my dudes here. 
Sort by element. Where are my fire boys at? Alright, so I got three that are cooking. How about watering? Who do we got doing watering? Right now, you are handling our watering. You're also assisting with watering. Who is handling seeding? Seeding is our bee ladies. They're handling that. Electricity is being handled exclusively by you. Gathering. You're also doing gathering. Logging is being handled by this dude. Into the other oh, no, and then logging. Electric and then it's the handicraft folks. So our handicrafters. You're that. Our mining people are those three. Medicine production I rarely use. Get the Wyvern Crisps you need to breed a pure ice pal. Got the Wyvern Crisps you need to breed a pure ice pal with the worm. Wyvern? What? What do you want me to breed? Mining. I skip medicine. I need an ice. A good ice person. Who's, who's my best icy? Who's our icy? Where's our icy's at? Tier 3 ice. Mining. Nothing on medicine. Ice is good. Transporting is good. Farm is good. Uh, probably another transporter. Van Worm and... Uh, I can find her. Where's my hell zephyr at? Let me sort you out by pal deck number. Thought I had a couple hell zephyrs. Yeah, hell's yeah, Van Worm and hell zephyr. I wonder what they would make together if I bred them. They're just too cool. Oh, no. They're just cool. Maybe they yield a uh, Suzaku or something. I mean, I could breed them. I'm gonna go put this in the sink real fast, chat. Be right back. Let me, uh... God, can't even see what's going on in the base. Where are... I want... I, I do want to breathe them, because they're my two... I would say the Van Worm and... The Van Worm was, like, my first, like, oh, you're so cool, I want you. 
And then Hell's Effort was like, yo, this is badass. I like this too. Oh, come here. I want to see what they would make. I'm just curious. Throw them in here. Make a baby for me. Make a baby for me. And the turtles walk in like, hey, hey, you need a third? Oh, God. You need a, <laughs> you need an extra in here. I see lots of wings, but not a lot of shells. <laughs> Alright, um, what is our, what is our next thing? Get another Osirk. Please get perks, please get perks. Motivational leader and glutton. That could be worse. Alright, um, I think we're, I mean, there's a lot here, but, like, there's a lot, but is there really? That's right, I was pumping out legendary orbs. I wanted to have a solid stock of those. Shit. Me. Damn, I'm running out of ore. Doesn't matter, produce. How important is the star ratings on the pals? Uh, you can increase that through the, uh, the pal condenser. So, just to give an idea of how that works, let's say we have a... Uh, I think I fused one earlier because I was running out of space. So yeah, here's a lamb ball. So here's a level 3 lamb ball. Let me move, so... Oh, there you go. You can see it'll go up. It gets more health, more attack, more defense, and its perk will increase. There we go. That's that's the kind of pump out those legendary spheres for me. I like to see. Thanks for carrying me through Dark Souls One. You're very welcome. The Game Pass version got updated earlier, Castle. Pretty sure it did. Saw a post about it. And one more. Everyone's leaving. I will assist. Let's do this, Anubis. why I even have the regular pal spheres on me. I guess if I accidentally press the button. Hypers, Ultras, and 23 Legendaries on deck. Should be good. Let's fly west. I want to check out what's over there. Hot, 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 hot! This thing should keep me nice and cold. Is there anything there? I'm just gonna go straight west. Uh, 
uh, all all the dedicated servers are having issues as far as I know. Honestly, I would unless you have like a, a group of like three friends that are really committed and you're going to play with those friends, I would highly recommend just playing offline because the offline experience has been leaps and bounds better in my opinion compared to playing online. Like yeah, running around with I think the raids are a little bit more fun with friends because you're not the one being focused 100% of the time. But the, the offline experience is just, you know, you can add in modifiers, you can increase the uh, obtainment rate so you don't need to farm ore for like 12 hours. You just farm it for like 30 minutes. Yeah, but even if we ignore the fact that you can do that on a personal dedicated, you're still going to run into the latency issue. Like when I just logged on and everyone had uh, everyone was starving and not working. Like the uh, the the positive is on a dedicated, that server is persistent. So people are, you know, even if you're offline, production is supposed to continue. The problem, though, is that very rarely is that the case. At least with the dedicated I was on, when we were getting offline, everything was going to crap, and everyone was, you know, like you just saw, we hopped online, everyone's just standing around, they're all stressed and starving, and they're not working despite there being uh, beds and food and everything else, so it's like, okay, well, this is not, you know, this is less than ideal. If all of my pals go go stupid mode, that's not the experience I want. I want them to be a regular blaze hell. I've not gotten a regular blaze hell yet. Hmm. Level are you? 30 ish. Uh, you're going to kill it. You might need an ultra. Fastest ground pal? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really done a lot with ground pals, to be honest. The thing is, the once you get like out of the starter zone, verticality is so big in the game that having a ground pal is just a waste of time. Because like you can take a flying mount and still go along the ground, and <clears throat> we're going pretty pretty quick. Like I don't see see a point in having a uh, having a ground pal. I just captured a uh, a double double three uh, three star talent Anubis. Double three star, damn. Got Earth Emperor and Burly Body. Is that the the forty seven boss? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I should. What am I at? 44. I'm probably going to be going after him soon. Damn. Can't believe I found a blaze foul and then I killed it.
This is a Van Worm Crist. It's like an ice Van Worm. I just like it because it's uh, I don't have ice types really. It's nice to finally have an ice type in the party. I feel like all the cool shit I find is always a uh, like a hybrid with dragon. Like more than likely end game, my whole team is probably just gonna be a bunch of fucking dragon fusions. Just because all the cool shit I keep finding that I'm like, oh, I like you. It's like dark dragon, fire dragon, water dragon. I'm like, okay, this, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a theme here. Mm -hmm. Turn into the fucking dragon trainer from Pokemon. I'm a Game Pass user and I got a couple mates that got the game on Steam. What's the deal about the game not being updated through Game Pass? So, uh, anytime there's updates on console in general, both PlayStation and Xbox, the update has to go through a certification process. So, on Steam, they do a new update, they just deploy it, it's live. It's very fast. On Xbox, they do an update and it has to like go through Microsoft certification to make sure it is uh, basically not gonna like explode your console or anything. So in general, updates on console are always gonna be slower than updates that you would get playing the game on PC. Yeah, there's there's another episode of Pop coming up. I forgot to schedule them last night. I ended up I've been playing so much of this. Last night I finally like had like a crash night. I was like out by like midnight and then just got that good sleep. But just uh forgot to schedule them. There'll be there'll be normal times tomorrow. Problem is YouTube hasn't ruled out my fucking members to scheduling thing, which is bullshit. So there's a setting that YouTube has right now where I can make the episodes early for members and then make them go public at a, at a time. That's what I had when I, when I started the whole member early access thing. I was like, oh, this feature is going to be fucking awesome. There's like a Google help page about it and everything. And I was like, great. So then I went to do my first like early members video and I'm like, where is this fucking option? Why is this not here? And then I contacted YouTube support and they're like, oh, that's weird. It should be there. And then I'm like, yeah, it's not here. And then uh, it ended up with them just telling me, oopsie daisy, it looks like this is actually uh, a beta feature and it's not available to everyone yet. I'm like, okay, well, maybe you should take down the fucking Google support page that suggests it is a feature that is not in beta and is in fact available to everyone. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Like, because you, kind of you. confusing as fuck. Dude, like literally, if you search up memberships, there's a whole Google support page. It's like things you can do with memberships. And it like lists, you know, uh, offer membership perks, early early access to memberships. And there's a whole option about like setting your videos to member and then having a, a time that they go schedule to public. And I was like, oh, this is this is awesome. This will be so convenient. Except just kidding. You don't actually have that feature. Only a couple people do. So. I already made the offering of like, if you're a member, you get episodes early. So I want to keep my word on that. But what it means is every day before I go to bed, I need to remember to, you know, schedule the videos every single day, which is just annoying. It's not hard. It's just one of those like tedious things that's very easy to forget. And I really want one. Have you found a regular Blaze Hal? I've only seen one. Are they night only? Gobfin Ignis. Yeah. 
getting the ball. Is that another friend? No, it's just an egg. Once upon a time, it was a giant, powerful aquatic pal. Uh, however, with the dwindling availability of food, it ventured onto land as a consequence of burning cow. <laughs> Jesus. Some of the... Uh, some of the, the info on pals is absolutely absurd. What was it? There was one I read earlier. Where was it? Oh, uh, this guy. Being made of pure energy, its insides are completely hollow. This pal crams still living prey into its hollow body where it absorbs them. Hellish screams of pain can often be heard coming from inside of this pal. <laughs> what the fuck? What does this thing do? Oh, it kills stuff and it murders them. <laughs> okay. It's uh, not what I expected, but I'll take it. I think we're done with the volcanic region. There's a little nook right here, but every time I flew by that area, that's where I was I was lighting on fire. What would you recommend is the best zones to explore early 32? Uh probably like this this area. Or you could go like out here-ish. And then once you're low 40s here, and here, and then high 40s here. Anubis is Quivern and Chillette. I put up an advanced guide that covers like where to find some of the best stuff up last night. That'll detail pretty much everything you need to know for finding all the shit that I have that keeps my base super good. Rainbow bird. Level 30. Let's get your stamina back so we can ride up this mountain. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get a swift flying mount for late game. The bandworm crest, it kind of reminds me of like the uh, the rainbow pigment in Monster Hunter. Just gonna go is it just straight northeast of here yeah let's do it that'll uncover the map i think we just need to stay low to the ground because i think what's happening i think there's uh like volcanic i think it's that vapor i think that vapor just cooks us and lights us on fire Send them to mine or they deal one damage per tick. Well, yeah, I mean they deal one damage per tick, but they're spinning around and they're they're dealing damage incredibly fast. It's one per tick, but like for a thousand ticks. Otherwise you can just keep the keep the bats. Maybe it's coming in with some gifties.
we're now on fire again this place honestly sucks all i'm trying to do is make it to that fast travel before i burn to death will that happen god this place blows little flambellas In the end, we never found another blaze how. I know there's somewhere out here, it just ain't, ain't spawning. But I have the edgier one, so it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, let's see what YouTube popped out. A... what the fuck is this? A common egg? Really? Bro. Two of the coolest looking dragonflyers I have seen. And they produce a common egg? That is just disappointing. Bishop, welcome to the Booty Warriors. Let's see what they make, Tox. They make a Nightwing. That is, wow. That is some inc incredible disappointment. All right, well, now y'all are just going to be on carrying duty forever. No more breeding. Y'all don't get to breed cool anymore. cool-ass birds turn into a way uh, less cool bird. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Like, that is whack. Huh, <sighs> super whack. All right, let's go do, um... Num, 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 num. Let's go try and do the PIDF tower. See if we can't knock that out. Told you it's a Nightwing, there is a website. Well, I'm sorry, all right? There's like 700 people watching. There's a lot of comments, okay? Either way, it's my experience to be disappointed in now. I wish you could go to these towers and it should, it should, they, these towers should give you like a rough, like, Level, level yeah, idea. level 30 recommended. Hmm. This guy looks like a discount GQ model. Why is why is he the boss of the army people? A Ragnarok? That's really that's what you're coming at me with? Oh no, it's a Phalaris. It looks like a Ragnarok. The fuck is a Phalaris? I don't know, but it's about to get fucked up by a Jormantide. This thing is very clearly a fire type. That's 150,000 health, though. What did the other one have? 120? 120, 130. So yeah, so this is the fourth tower we should do then. Yormantide, use your crazy water abilities, bro. Oh, okay, that, that'll that do. That was good, I like that. Yormantide getting kind of fucked up, not gonna lie. Ow. All right, Astagon, you come out. Dark laser blast. Yeah. Oh man, that's a huge lightning AOE. Trying to throw a giant ball of magma at me.
Did you know you could mid-battle change out their abilities? Like, I threw Jormantide back into my, uh... <clears throat> I, like, re-put him, put him in back in his tube, pull out somebody else, and then just went to Pals and threw a third water ability on him. This guy's smart. He's a fire type, but he has some electric moves to help negate out his weakness. Well, I am on fire. Get off fire. How long does being on fire last? Because my guy is still just rolling clearly does not... Damn, took fucking forever. Lasts a while, for sure. Yeah, this... I'll tell you what, Jormantide, very, very uh, poor performance. Anubis bugged. Anubis fucked this thing up. I think Anubis's tornadoes are- oh no, those tornadoes are hitting. Okay. I don't know if his big AoE is, though. Ground smash probably ain't working. I need to watch him do it again and see if I see damage numbers from it. I need to up the deeps. <clears throat> I'm running behind on time. I love attacks that hit you directly through a pillar. That's awesome. <laughs> Tide, please do some of your water abilities. <laughs> Lightning. Your yeah. is just so big, he, he kind of struggles to, to navigate properly. Oh, you have direct line sight of him. Command, attack aggressively. Use every skill. Fuck him up. Like, he's not even... Your one touch just there.
All right, that attack did did some solid damage. Like, I can probably beat this. This is going to be really close, just from a timer perspective. Fuck, my shotgun's damaged. Shotgun durability does not last long. Nubis, your ground smash is not working. Power bomb him instead. Literally just a DPS race at this point of a minute left. Fifty seconds. What is that thing? Phalaris. Phalaris. It's a... it's just a fire type. The Roman Gunder just kinda... kinda sucks, I guess. He's kinda, like, just too big to be useful. Yeah, he... his... his pathing was just... He, he wasn't doing anything. Um, I need like a good, good water type. Maybe I pull out my Quivern with Acid Rain again. Acid Rain. Uh, Quivern usually carries well. The Ferocious. Yeah, you're the you're the good one. And then I'm also gonna pull out Bron Cherry Aqua, maybe? No. No, hang on. Let me let me check my pal box. I bet I got some some fat fucking skills. So who's in our party? Nubis. Powerbomb, Acid Rain, and Sand Tornado was kind of working. Jormantide needs to be replaced. Should I go for an Azure Robe? Box sort by level. The highest level I have are no, never mind. That's the other way. The I have a Verdash. That's a bad matchup. A Fanglope. Fanglope could work, but it's brittle. What does brittle do? Defense minus twenty. You're gonna get fucked up fast. You have Aqua Burst, Aqua Rain, and Blizzard Spike. That might work. And then um. I think I'm going to give him something besides Nightmare Ball. Oh, yeah, 
have Rock Lance. I have Rock Lance and I have Fireball. Party Astagon. Why is his mental stability so low? Let's give Fireball to Astagon. Not going to use it for this fight. I should have given. Oh, whatever. Where's Bolsey at? I don't know. I scheduled the stream for 3.30 because I figured he would end up being a little late. I need to uh, pump out shotgun ammo. Oh, we need gunpowder. Polymer, motherfucker. All right, yeah, we need to. Damn, I can't. They're making it so fast, I can't even cancel the process. I think I can beat that one with just. Uh... If my shotgun didn't break, I think I would have had the DPS needed. Pump out my ammo. I'm gonna try it one more time. Uh, Fatalis is all about just learning the fight from a mechanical perspective. You need to figure out when your openings are, when you can get in damage. Uh, if you're struggling on the horn, what I did was wait for phase two. Make sure you get get a break or get a uh, a weaken on the head. And then when phase two starts, you, you pin him down. To use. Yeah, you use a binder. Use a binder and the uh wow. <laughs> Yo. Bind binder and the uh the rotating chain gun. I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, do that. That works really well. And then uh after that you wait for the chain gun to come back up and then use your second binder if you haven't broken the horn by then. Roaming Ballista, to? that. Oh, we're just waiting on you. Oh? Oh, I'm special. <laughs> well, I mean, we're, we're pal, pal worlding in the meantime, but. Oh, okay. You're just not waiting. Uh, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna try and kill this this boss real fast. I I almost had it and ran out of time. I uh, couldn't just couldn't quite get enough damage in. Gotcha. But I have a feeling if I change some stuff up, I'll have it. Yeah, wall bangs. Anytime you have the opportunity for a wall bang, get it. Also, make sure it is weakened when you go for the wall bang, so that you get that extra damage on the horn. Oh, uh, the wall bang doesn't weaken? I, I, I really don't know how it works. Weaken before wall bang. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I could probably just wait till I level up, but we were so close on that boss, I really want to take a... I want to do another attempt at it. Do it. I think we can get it. I just need more shotgun shells.
I would suggest watch watch the most recent Fatalis stream I did, the one that's just called Fatalis Dies Now. And you'll notice how I was constantly looking for positioning and baiting certain opportunities. If I want to start a single player world by myself, should I still make it dedicated? No. You should just play offline. Because then you don't need to deal with latency whatsoever. Yeah, I was taking a peek at your stream. It does seem like it runs way better offline. It, it does run way better offline. Definitely really better. This Peng King came in and was like, I'll help with the shotgun shells and production instantly slowed. Like, no, nah, I think Anubis has it, bro. <laughs> I think with my current four stack we can get it. How many rounds do I got? Four hundred. Fly just... ammo. Yeah, let's just finish it. I'd rather just have the full. I have every every shell I have. I like how like people are like leaving and coming back and the the speed only only makes a difference if Anubis gets off. Oh this Anubis just got out of the hot tub, he's hopping on. Production speeds just doubled literally. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're saying is you need four of them. I gotcha. Yeah, if, if I had four of them, these shells would have been done already. <laughs> Things are insanely fast. I like how his sanity is going up as he works. He's like, ah, oh, just making shotgun shells. It's my favorite thing to do. There are four legendary pals in the game. They're all level 50. Two and three. All right. Let's go try this thing one more time, and then it's time for some monster hunting. Yeah, go go shoot that thing with your five hundred, almost six hundred ammo. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> I scheduled the stream for three thirty. These bosses give you ten minutes to do them, so it lines up kind of perfect. Easy. <laughs> Pokepods, welcome to the Booty Nation. Oh, to begin. Skip. Oh, that has a lot of health. What the hell? Yep. 20k was a lot, gee. Bengalope, you're kind of kind of disappointing me at the moment. Gillette, come out. You always do good damage. Not Chillette Quivering. I got Acid Rain and the Dragon Breath. Get him with the Sandstorms too. Actually, I think the easy thing might be to just rapidly rotate through the pals so they come out, they dump their three abilities, and then they go away. Asta guy, and I don't see you attacking, bro. Astagon, you've had too long out and you haven't attacked. Anubis, it's up to you, buddy. Getting a little too aggro.
Oh, god damn. Yeah, we are we are pumping this time. Anub is literally the one out here doing all the work. That's why he's the goat. The goat. All right, let me tag him out. Let him heal up a little bit. Quiver and hit him with your acid rain and all your other fancy bullshit. Yeah, good dragon breath. to kind of come out for a little bit. Oh, ask the gun, come out. Big blast, hit him with your death dragon laser. There we go, good death dragon laser. All right, now Nubus comes back out. halfway through the fight and his health is fuck weapon damaged what I was concerned about. The shotgun breaks part way through the fight. Oh, rip. Yeah. Can you make two? Uh, I should be able to, actually. It's a good idea. I didn't think about that. I think Anubis and my rifle can finish this. Because the shotgun does a lot of, like, tickle damage. Wait, for a high rate of fire, can you just have four, then shoot, swap, shoot, swap, shoot, swap? Well, yeah, but you'd still have to, you'd still have to reload, reload it, yeah. Yeah. So be like, shoot, 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 reload, 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 reload. Yeah. I think changing Anubis to not use his, uh, his ground pound is good here. He's getting inconsistent, like, 500 damage hits using his, uh, his power ball. Somehow. I think it's stuck. I think we got the AI stuck. Free headshots? Free headshots? No, it's no, no, I got out. It looked like it was stuck. Big damage on the tornadoes. Acid rain coming out.
Well, that was disappointing. I threw Fangalope out right as it did its stun move. Fangalope, I need you to start pumping out some, some water damage here. Acid Rain is a good start. Hit him with the Bubble Blast. What else you got? Come on. Damn, Fangalope just getting fucking dominated out there. Holy shit. And Fangalope's big ice move completely whiffs every time. That's nice. We're on track to do this, though, for sure. He's lower than he... Uh, this this health, he was at like 15 seconds last time. We got two minutes. Quiver and dump your load on him. Yeah, dump your load on him, smile. <laughs> Release the load. <laughs> Astagon death laser. <laughs> Astagon's going for dragon breath. Death B. Oh, that's the death ball. Come on, bro. Death laser. You can't capture this, right? Um, oh, you know the guy's on it. Not Thanks. in this counter, but you can get this thing. Bro, we are running out of time. Death laser. It. There it is. Big death laser. For the final kill. Van Worm Christ, finish it. This is a type disadvantage for you. Boom! Damn, Van Worm just jumped. What was he? He just jumped up to 39. <laughs> Big XP. Being out, he got he got 400,000 for being out at the end there. Inst pretty, pretty much instantly caught him up to the rest of the team. <coughs> that was huge. That was a big, big money play right there. Can you re-challenge boss fights or no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, should be able to. Oh. Interesting. It's just like a cooldown timer? Yeah. Oh, man. How to fight. Repair everything. But your good shotgun holds seven shots, right? Uh, Fangalope, you were very disappointing in that encounter. I need something else. Let me let me look at my type coverage here. So, you were Dragon and Dark. So we have we have Dragon, Dark, and Normal all covered. I need a Fire type. I don't have a Fire type in my current lineup. Sort by pal deck number. Who are the juiciest fire types I have? Uh, Suzaku. Oh, no, that's right. I have a Jormantide Ignis that's, like, just pure fucking attack. I'm gonna give him a chance. If he's, if he's derpy like the other one, then he's gotta go. No, wait, what did I just do? What did I do? Why did I deposit Astagon? Get back out. Fireball and Draconic Breath. I might give him... I mean, he has his Ground Smash, but I feel like that whiffs a lot. Maybe I give him... Uh, Rock Lance. I think that's a 150. Which someone was testing. Apparently, Stab is a thing in this game, but it's only like 20%. Yeah, Rock Lance, Acid Rain, and then I like the Sand Tornadoes a lot, so you can keep more Ground Smash. It's a 35 cooldown, 1 power, 40. I haven't checked the cool base at all this stream, so let's hop over there real fast. Have y'all been doing good? Let's see. They have 361 coal for me. That's what I like to see. They don't get eaten this time, unfortunately. No, nobody's getting butchered today. <laughs> Y'all done a very good job at farming. 
When you start capturing people, I haven't seen it yet. I I, I caught a merchant. Oh, okay. That's my my one uh, my one capture. I got a merchant. Because <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need something from him. What you buying? Yeah, let's see. Let's let's see. Um. Welcome. I've got some good items in stock. See, chat, you want to get bones? That's how you get bones, baby. <laughs> just just put a merchant in your box. And then anytime you need. I got medical supplies on demand. Wool and leather. Horns and bones. If I need eggs or milk, I just... They're ready to go. That's, that's the way to do it. Get back in that box. Get back in that box. Oh, we're under attack by shit that is going to get fucking bodied. I don't know why y'all came in here thinking something was going to happen. I see colors go all over my screen. Wonderful. Yeah, it's just, it's just murder happening. A couple people did go down though, it looks like. There's a few few incapacitates. They'll be fine in ten minutes. It's all good. Yeah, they'll they'll recover fast. I will say late game the uh the attacks do get more and more aggressive for sure. All right, who got knocked out? Oh damn, dude, large beds are OP. A few of them got knocked out and they just laid back down and they're good now. Wait, large beds res? I don't know, maybe? It could it could also just be a server setting. Hook? It is. Oh. But it unfortunately seems like it bugged out. Soft locks the game. <laughs> oh no. No, you get the AR. I was just trying to get to a chest so I could deposit all that uh, all that stuff I picked up. There we go. There was a lot of a lot of shit from them coming into base. Gold coins, flame organs. No, move your tail, lady. Um, overweight. And you are the, where all the weight is coming from. Keys stay with me, as does the gold. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we got one boss left to kill. And besides that, it is uh, end game. Real fast, let's go, uh, let's see what health the final boss has. Just out of curiosity. And then it's Monster Hunter time. Oh, it's a, it's a huge egg up there. No, it's a regular egg rip. It's a gold key. I ain't got any gold keys right now. Mm. 
PAL Genetic Research Unit Tower. Time to fuse them. <laughs> She's actually weaker than the desert boss you just fought? What? Look at this edgy near wannabe. Oh shit. My name huh. is 2C. Oh, he has the, the dark bird. Wow. Why would you have a dark bird? Bro, this is... Dark birds are weak to ice. <laughs> Wait, what? No, this thing has... This one has 200,000. So this oh. is... This is definitely... The last one was, what, 150? Yeah. Yeah. So I would not put this below the, the other one at all. Do you have enough ammo? No, not not for not for two hundred thousand. I'll need to be. That's probably like an assault rifle boss. Because I'm gonna need to just pump damage the whole time. But we know it's we know that it's gonna be a dark type, and we know that it's two hundred thousand. So, the next time I go fight that, my uh, my Van Worm Chris will probably be leveled up, and we'll just pump massive amounts of. Ice damage into it. Ice will color. Crisp breath. I'll put ice missile on it. It'll just be like, boop, 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 boop. And just pump ice damage all day. All right, chat. We're going to hop over to Monster Hunter, though. Uh, if you're hanging out, the stream will just send you over there. If it doesn't, I'll just catch you next time. Bye, people. Or hello, people. <laughs>